If you catch a clinically apparent coronavirus infection, the chance of spreading it to other persons living with you at home is 10.5%. There is data to suggest that this risk can be reduced if the patient wears a medical grade face mask at home. The reason is obvious from this slide. The purpose of this talk is to show you how to make a medical grade face mask for patient use to prevent the spread of coronavirus to others while recovering at home. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Larry Gessman. I'm both a doctor and an electrical engineer. So let's start with the WHO and CDC guidelines about home use of face masks. There are differences in the guidelines. The WHO says patients should wear a mask at home, household members should also wear a mask, and the mask should be a medical grade surgical or N95 mask. The CDC says patients should wear masks, but household members may wear masks, not should, and the mask should be a cloth mask. The CDC concedes that medical grade masks are reserved for healthcare workers and that the protective effects of the cloth mask that they recommend is unknown. The WHO also gives recommendations for mask management, which are seen here. And now let's talk about the flu and coronavirus. In this Australian study, if a flu patient recovering at home was able to wear a surgical or N95 mask for more than five days after getting sick, then the chance of spreading their infection to family members was reduced from 16% to 8%, but only 30% of patients were compliant. The main reason for non-compliance was that by day five, the masks were too uncomfortable. There is no data yet for coronavirus. However, coronavirus patients shed virus for eight days or more, so masks would have to be worn for eight days or more. When N95 masks are tested for efficacy, they are 95% effective, hence their name. Surgical masks tested the same way are only 60 to 80% effective because they leak around the edges. You can see in this slide that cloth masks, even in four layers, are generally ineffective. HEPA filters, on the other hand, are 89% effective in one layer and 94% in two layers, comparable with N95 masks. So what are the requirements of a mask that will be worn for more than a week? The mask should be comfortable or compliance will be low. The mask should reduce expired air from wetting the filter material in the mask, which can cause chafing of the face, fogging of the glasses, and reduced efficacy of the filter. The mask should be washable and reusable. The mask should minimize the need for N95 material or HEPA material or fully eliminate the need for filters by transporting patient air from the inside to the outside of the house. The mask should be affordable and made from available parts and the mask should be compliant, I think, with the more rigorous WHO guidelines, but certainly the CDC guidelines. Being a pacemaker surgeon, I'm fully aware of how uncomfortable surgical and N95 masks are, but I'm also a sleep apnea patient, and I can assure you that the most comfortable masks I've ever worn are the sleep apnea masks. Sleep apnea masks come in all varieties. Some cover the nose and mouth, some the nose only. If you are a nose breather and keep your mouth shut while breathing, you can wear the more comfortable nasal pillow masks. It is more comfortable than a full face mask. It allows you to eat, speak, and cough by covering your mouth with a cloth that can be washable. This design also keeps the respiratory droplets when sneezing or coughing from clogging the HEPA filter. It looks ridiculous, but remember, nobody's going to see you. You're at home sick. This mask uses a respiratory T with incoming air coming in from the right side of the T and expired air going out the left side of a T and filtered with a HEPA filter. So let's start building the mask. You can buy an Opus Nose Pillow CPAP mask online for about $50. It comes with three sizes of nose pillows, small, medium, or large. A Velcro strap can release the tube and the nose of the mask swivels so the tube can be put in any position for comfort. Make sure you plug the holes at the end of the swivel with silicon glue or tape. Cut the tubing at the site shown on the slide and screw this cut connector into the top of a 
three quarter inch T that's terminated with a half inch screw thread on top. Another method is to remove the swivel with holes and replace it with half inch threaded pipe which fits perfectly into the receptacle on the nose pillow headgear. This method also can swivel. It is the one-way valves inside the T that separate inspiratory from expiratory airflow. Ideally, you'd want to use this professionally made T, but there's worldwide competition for parts to make ventilators for the COVID epidemic, so it was unavailable and expensive. So I made a low-cost ventilator T using Medalla breast pump valves and three-quarter inch T's from Home Depot or Lowe's made of PVC. These valves fit perfectly and snugly inside three-quarter inch PVC pipe fittings. This video demonstrates how nicely the valves work. A close-up is shown here. You can also see how nicely the valve fits into the T. If coughing a lot, you can Velcro onto the gray plastic holders a cloth face mask instead of the rag I used in the previous slide to prevent aerosolization of a cough or sneeze. Again, ideally you'd want to use a pre-made HEPA-like filter, but again this part was unavailable. So I constructed a HEPA filter using a Medalla 21 millimeter connector breast shield. The neck of this breast shield fits perfectly over the Medalla valve, which fits perfectly inside the T. And HEPA filter material cut from a Bed Bath & Beyond air conditioner HVAC filter. The filter material is placed in the breast shield and taped in place. The breast shield comes with a thin plastic cover which snaps onto its rim edge, which can also be taped to hold the N95 or HEPA material inside the mask. You have to cut a central hole in this plastic cover to allow air to pass through it. If sitting and watching TV near a window or sleeping near a window, the HEPA filter can be replaced by a six-foot hose that exits out the window to outside air. The T can swivel and the hose held in position by the headgear so that you can roll while sleeping without detaching the mask. CDC Director Robert Redfield said we're going to have the flu epidemic and the coronavirus epidemic at the same time. And Dr. Fauci famously said, quote, we will have the coronavirus in the fall. I am convinced of that. If you get sick, you won't know if it's the coronavirus or flu or a common cold until you're tested. If you put the mask on immediately after beginning symptoms, it may protect your family members from catching your virus. So this is the configuration to prevent patients from spreading viral air when wearing the mask at home. But you could also reverse the position of the HEPA filter so you can create a mask that protects you from others when you go outside. So let me end with one disclaimer. Ideally, parts in a ventilation system should not use PVC because it emits toxic vapors when heated. I doubt this is a problem in this application, but if you want, you can replace the tea with three-quarter inch polypropylene teas from usplastics.com. This video was made on April 1st of 2020. Please, this spring, summer, and fall, stay healthy, and thanks for watching the video.